could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I get my braided hair. So I've had a lot of requests on how I just do the two French braids. Um, and I'm not perfect, I'm, God, look at this hair right now. I'm definitely not perfect at doing them and they don't always turn out. So I'm just going to give it a go and try and teach you guys how I do it. Um, just because there has been so many requests, so... Let's get started. So I washed my hair last night and it's been in a ponytail, hence the kink. Um, but I'm just going to take my brush, this is just one of those flat kind of brushes, no soft kind of brushes, and just brush through all of my hair. And then you want to create your part down the middle of your head. <laughs> that sounds weird. You can do it slightly to the side, which is what I tend to do. I My part's more over to the left side. Um, so I just got a little teasing brush and it's got a sharp pointed end so I just take that and create my part. So I do the front bit first and then I go ahead and take it all the way down the back and separate it into two. So you can tie the one side up to start with just so that we don't pull any of it this side this side's hairs over to the other side so you just pop it in a ponytail so pretty much what I do is I grab a section at the top like this just about that size hopefully you guys can see it and I just take three pieces and I start plaiting now a lot of people do plaits that go underneath. I do plaits that go over and I don't really know why to be honest. I just have always pretty much plaited like that and it's just how I do it. So you just want to go and then grab a piece of hair. Oh god, see I'm not very good at this. A piece of hair from the top section and then a piece of hair from the front and join it on. So it's basically just like a literal normal braid. Then go over and over. And I like to keep my hair quite tight when I'm doing this. Um, and then I go back in later and pull it out. One piece over the middle and then the other piece over the middle and just keep on grabbing the hair from either side pull it tight and then pull the side pieces over the middle section I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin And then when I get to the bottom of the hair, I just pretty much grab these pieces and then continue into a normal plait. Once I've got a little bit, I then turn back to the front and grab the sections with my arms down because by now my arms are hurting and then begin to tightly plait down the hair. And if you don't have as much hair as me, it will not be going for this long, but I have a lot of hair and I do generally like to plait close to the end, so I'm going to stop there. Then I've got a little bag of Lady Jane elastics, so I'm going to take a clear one. If I can open it with one hand. So just a clear little elastic, which you guys probably can't see, and then just secure the bottom of the plait. Obviously. I feel like this is such a simple look. You just need to practice doing your braids. So once I've got the braid, I then like to go and start to pull it at it, pull it at it, pull at it 
just to create sort of bigger, thicker looking hair. And then you can pull out your little side bits if you would like. So yeah, the reason I like doing this with my plait is just that it makes my hair appear thicker and the braid looks nice and yeah, it's just pretty much thicker. And see, it's not perfect here from where I came from the back and wrapped it around. There is a part that wraps around and isn't in a perfect plait, but I'm not really fussed. I don't care that much. I still think it looks good, to be honest. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm not really going to talk because... It's hard to explain and I'm just going to let you guys watch me do it and hopefully sort of follow along. So just going to do the exact same thing that I did on the other side. Okay, so that part is done, so just going ahead and doing the same thing. Um, I always struggle with the right side of my head. I'm not really sure why that is, but I always just struggle a bit more trying to do this side. So, sometimes they don't look completely even, which, uh, whatever. As you guys can probably tell, I'm not very fussy with my hair. Um, and then basically I just take some hairspray and secure it into place. So my favourite hairspray is this one, it is the Fudge Skyscraper hairspray. Um, so I just take this, give it a shake, and spray my plaits. I feel like I do have a bit that's not sitting right though, so, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is this bit that's a bit loose, so I'm just going to take a bobby pin and sort of pin it down underneath. That is how I do my French braids, which are so on trend at the moment, and I love it. Like, it's really easy, because I'm someone who doesn't like my hair in my face. I don't love wearing my hair out unless there's some parts pulled back, because I just hate hair in my face. So this is like the perfect cute hairstyle for me to do. So I really, really hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, please let me know down below if it was and I also wanted to do it because I find a lot of the French braid tutorials on YouTube are with extensions which um, not everyone has like I don't use extensions because I really don't feel like I need them don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you guys in my next one bye